Hi, welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report. I'm here with head coach Krista Kilburn Stavesky of Hofstra Women's Basketball. Thanks for joining us today, Coach. Thanks, Amanda. Pride went one and one last weekend, topping Towson on the road before falling to Delaware <laughs> at home on Sunday. Uh, that game at Towson, the team kind of seemed like they were back in their yeah. in their rhythm. What went well that day? I we had a great week of preparation. Um, everybody's mental preparation during that week uh, was uh, just a really good focus and they were you know just really prepared and you know we're an amazing group when we put our mind to something and, and really like um, dial in and I just felt like we were really dialed in on that game. Mm -hmm. Crystal Luciano had 19 <clears throat> points a season high for her in that game. What does it mean to the team when she's really clicking on all cylinders? Well it, it does. I mean it's whether she's scoring and she's just leading us is uh, you know we do kind of go as she goes and there's just no argument to that. Um, you know, and, and she had all the games in the beginning of the year, if you remember, or maybe she wasn't scoring that much, but we were playing well, she's leading the team. So, I mean, that type of pressure I don't put on her. I just, uh, you know, for her just staying positive, you know, she has a huge role. Uh, you know, her and Ajene know their role, and they have been embracing it, and it takes a while to really adapt to that full, you know, responsibility. And, um, you know, they, they did a great job for Friday, and uh, obviously Crystal, you know, did too. So when she's scoring, it's just even a much more added relief. Um, just puts a lot of pressure. Probably gives Nay a little bit more room to breathe as well too. Uh, but uh, just, yeah, definitely can't say enough about a total team effort and uh, obviously outstanding play by Crystal on, on Friday. Then on Sunday, Delaware scores the first eight <coughs> points of the game. Then you come back and take the lead, and then Delaware ends up yeah. taking the lead back and winning the game. What do you take away from that game? Yeah, I mean, you know, we all were extremely disappointed. The team was disappointed as much as, it, you know, we were all in this thing together. You know, I always say they can take the wins, and I'll take the hits on the losses. That's what you're supposed to do as a coach. But it's just, you know, to have tell of two type of mental approaches, mm -hmm. you know, then that turnaround, that's the first Friday, Sunday, because we remember we didn't get to play Jamie, William, Mary. Um, and so even though Nay and um, Aliana had experience, obviously, with the Friday Sundays last year, and Crystal, obviously, but that's a quick turnaround. Mm -hmm. You know, the mindset of remembering personnel and uh, knowing, and then you take it to an account with, um, you know, the, the top player for Delaware, Makita, who really wasn't necessarily, you know, she was a huge point, but Chapman was actually, you know, being kind of a thrust for mm -hmm. them too, but she's a hometown kid. So she was highly motivated in that game, mm -hmm. you could tell. So that little extra of coming back home. But, I, you know, it's, it's, it's just, I, I'm not one that's going to pat that over. You know, we've had three home games here that we should have taken care of and should have won. And, you know, those are things you can't get back. So when you go back and look at the end of the season, so we got, we're going to steal. we got to steal several. You know, we gotta, we got to make up, you know, for something that, you know, you felt like if you would have been on all cylinders. But, you know, we also went to battle, you know, people mentally, was just some nips and some tugs. People were kind of sore from the last mm -hmm. game and some issues that we had there from the last game. And you know, mentally, you got to go. Right. And I just think some of that in immaturity or young, your youngness mm -hmm. uh, and mental focus, uh, you know, because we weren't we weren't ready in the post in that game. Mm -hmm. You know, we needed more out of Sandra and we needed more out of Marianne. Just hands mm -hmm. down, we didn't we didn't get it. Speaking of home court, <clears throat> back home tomorrow for a matinee against UNCW. That's a team that's winless yeah. so far in conference play. <coughs> you talk about getting these wins on home court. How important is it to get a win tomorrow? You know, it's always important. It's your next game, and, but this one is like you know super important. It's our next game, but it's just it's important for us mentally. Um, the fight that this team has. This team is not an 0 and 5 team. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, our, our players are not approaching it that. They know that we're in a dogfight night after night, day after day. You know, this is a 12 o'clock game. We've gone early all week, you know, gotten them up because we have no school right now. Um, try to get them into a routine. We did community service on, on, um, on Tuesday, which was a great team event. And I think it really, you know, opened up a lot of kids' eyes of how we have to give back to the community, how, we, how fortunate we are and how unfortunate other people's circumstances are. And our team was just top notch. Um, you know, uh, just the, the response that we got back after mm -hmm. doing the community service. And, but just in general, you know, the way our kids carry ourselves on and off the court. You know, we have uh, eight kids that got 3.0 ceremony this year. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can't be prouder to what they are doing, you know, off the court and uh, as well as on the court, especially when, when their mind is right. So, you know, this is important. Um, just because, again, our next game, it's a conference game, it's a game at home, it's our fun game, our what I want to be game, and it's going to be loud. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes that's intimidating even for us. Right. You know, I've had times where we've just come out of the gate being too wired up because of the crowd. So hopefully the upperclassmen can, 
explain that to mm -hmm. everybody about how this game is. But uh, it'll it'll be it'll be a battle. It'll be fun, and Wilmington's fighting to stay alive. And, and like I said, they're definitely a very good team. Mm -hmm. You know, they just have you know faced a lot of tough competition so far. And you know, we got to take care of our, ourselves at home. Mm -hmm. UNCW is obviously the focus now, but then again, that quick turnaround to Drexel on Sunday, that's a team that's playing pretty well right now too. Um, what are going to be the challenges going to Drexel on yeah, Sunday? Yeah, you know, I had the chance obviously to watch them off and on throughout the year, watch the Syracuse game, and then I watched the Drexel Wilmington game leading into this game, and I think they played 30 minutes with two turnovers. You know, they're very efficient shooting. I think in that game they shot 40% from a three. Uh, just a really a kind of a fine, you know, oil machine, and her freshmen are kind of popping right in there and just like really playing that role. They have great leadership at a Creighton. They have great floor leadership. I'm sure they have great off the court leadership. But uh, so they, you know, they don't really waste a lot of possessions, and they and they do what they do, uh, and they do it well. So um, you know, we know that's not easy going to Drexel. So it'll be the first time, you know, six or seven people are going to be on that floor. Mm -hmm five of them here for the first time, uh, you know, in that gym, in that atmosphere. So, but there's no rest for the weary. You know, these are these are our conference foes and it's gonna get tougher and tougher as we face Elon and Charleston and, you know. So, uh, but yeah, you know, it's a tough team. Any of these teams to play was a tough first go around team to play, you know, after uh, after just a one day turnaround. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at least we're all in the same boat. So, uh, it'll, 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 it'll go. But I always enjoy, the Drexel competition. Mm -hmm. uh, I think our team is massively geared up. I know they're not looking ahead because we're just not that way. We have small goals where we are right now. You know what our next set is is getting this next win. So, but they'll be ready. You know they'll be ready to fight. Hofstra women's basketball takes on UNCW <clears throat> at noon tomorrow at home for What I Want to Be Day before heading to Drexel for a 2 p.m. game on Sunday. This has been the WV Mason Coaches Report. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thank you. And our cameraman.